Hey guys, I'm still at London Film Festival and I saw a few more movies, so let's talk about them. One of those movies is The Other Lamb, which is one of 10 films in the official competition at London Film Festival. This is basically the competition for the best movie at the festival. And despite it being the only one of the 10 I've seen, let's just say I'm definite it does not deserve a win. There is unquestionably some great acting, cinematography, production design, and costume design in this movie, but the script for this movie is kind of awful. The characters are not remotely interesting at all. The film just kind of dicks around for 100 minutes. Speaking of which, this movie is pretty awfully paced. It just kind of feels like nothing important is happening for the entire movie. It's excruciatingly boring. The film was very poorly edited, the musical score was obnoxious and annoying. If I'm being completely honest, a lot of this movie has already escaped my mind, but let me tell you, I am very grateful for that. Definitely do not check this movie out at any point in your life ever. If you think this looks interesting, then maybe just go watch Them That Follow instead. I reviewed that while at Edinburgh Film Festival, so you can hear me talk about that in another video, but let's just say that The Other Lamb made me really appreciate this movie a lot more. Anyways, this movie was boring and bad, and you shouldn't see it. And I'm giving The Other Lamb a 3 out of 10, it's closer to a 4 than a 2, but I'm giving it a 3 nonetheless. Next I saw Vendra la muerte tendra tos ojos, which in English means death will come and shall have your eyes. And it was a pretty good movie. All of the acting was phenomenal, the film was beautifully shot, the audio mixing is the best I've heard all year, the characters were interesting and well written, the leads had tons of chemistry and I enjoyed their dynamic, the script was pretty solid overall. I guess for me at least what holds the movie back is the pacing. For the most part it's very slow in an enjoyable and purposeful way, but about a third of the movie is just stuff that isn't really relevant. The characters will start telling stories that reflect on the themes of the movie and we'll see these stories play out. And these sections are very well acted and very well written, but they're distractingly out of place. Now since I saw the film I've been thinking about these scenes and how they fit in the film, and personally I feel like the second story has really grown on me. But Jesus Christ, that first story adds literally nothing to the movie and I don't know why it was there. Who knows, maybe I need to see the film again to appreciate that scene more, but for now it just didn't really work for me at all. I do also wish that the musical score was better, and I do wish that some of the dialogue and line delivery had been improved upon, but had there been more build up to these stories I probably would have loved this movie and they wouldn't have felt so out of place to me. Either that or the movie just needed to be shorter, which is not a good thing when the film is 86 minutes long. Still, I did like the movie overall. Again, as previously mentioned, it has the best audio mixing of the entire year, and the incredible acting and beautiful cinematography are reason enough to watch it anyway. So yeah, check it out when you get the chance, and I hope to be rewatching it soon as well. And I'm giving Vendra la Muerte Tendra Tos Ojos a 7 out of 10, it might be closer to an 8, I might give it an 8 on rewatch, but for now I'm going with a 7. Stay tuned for more London Film Festival content coming soon. That's the end of this video, like, share, subscribe, I'm bad at outros, and I'll see you in whatever I do next.